All right. I just replaced my number three injector on the Evan Rude E-Tech 225 2011 model. Just remember this. Where is that? Serial number. Just remember the last six. 20, 28, 29. 20, 28, 29. That's going to be a file we're going to look for later. But uh, that injector has just been replaced. So I need to get into the EV diagnostics, remove the old injector number three, and install the coefficient or it's called a DAT file for the new injector, so the thing will work. Okay. <clears throat> I'm using, I got glare and I've tried moving this thing everywhere. I'm actually got the computer on the ground. But I'm actually using an old EV Diagnostics 4.5 from 2010. <clears throat> so yours may look a little different however it should have the same same way of getting on there first of all had the key on to your engine <clears throat> this key on connect to your EMM <clears throat> okay we are connected Go down to settings. Click settings. Oop. Says I'm not connected. Here we go. Everything is working fine until I turn the video on. Okay, now we're connected. I don't know what happened. I'm tired. Okay. We are online. I'm connected to the engine computer. Once you're connected, once again, make sure your key is on. Go to settings. Are you able to see that far? Yeah, okay. Go to settings. Somewhere, <clears throat> like I said, this is my version from 2010. Yours probably looks different. But once you're in settings, click on injectors. <clears throat> and it gives you all the injectors that you have on your motor. Mine has six. Here it says, I want to find number three. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, I replaced number three, so I'm going to click on tab three. You see down here, so I'm on three. Just make sure, take your time doing it because you don't want to remove an injector that is not the correct one so I replaced number three so I want to click the green thing here or whatever you may have on your version click on replace injector now it's asking me for Okay, this is all information I have in the EV diagnostics. I don't have the injector coefficient file in there. I have it somewhere else in my documents. Remember, I don't know if you can see that, but this file is called, it's got a bunch of numbers, and the last six numbers are 20, 28, 29. That's how you know, you want to know all the numbers, but since I knew this was it, this is the one. And it goes dot, dat, D-A-T. You click on that. Wherever you, I was telling you, are attempting to open a file, type dat. These files are used by the operating system, blah, 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 blah. Wait a minute, I'm not trying to open it. What, I, what happened? Okay. Okay, once you let's back up. Now, 
Okay, I'm gonna place the injector. You know, I'll knock it goes to the EV diagnostics file because it thinks it's in there, but I didn't put it in there. I put it in my documents. Okay, right there it is. My videos today suck, but okay. Now I highlighted it. You go over here and replace injector. Injector 3 is about to be replaced. Old injector data will be written to file with the following format, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's basically warning you you're getting ready to do something. Okay, I want to replace number 3. Okay. So it is now installing that file that I got, which, by the way, and, and right now it's installing. You can hear the computer doing some stuff but you can have and coefficient files sent to you different ways the two ways I've had it is either via email or your dealer can put it on one of these little flash drive things for you either way but it, <coughs> you need to be able to access it when uh, you go to do this okay so it has been replaced if you look up here, it has you know if you can see it. Let me zoom in. Wrong way. Yeah, yeah right there. Right there is it shows the serial number of where's number number three injector. The serial number is if you remember the last six digits were two zero twenty eight twenty nine. So that new coefficient file has been installed in the EMM to recognize this new injector. That's pretty much it.